top of the morning, friends and family. Who the, what are you doing? What, what, what's you got? What, who left their breakfast mess around here on the table? What's going on? Hey, 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 hey. A little bit nuts around here. Um, I got my buddy Shane coming to visit today, and uh, we're gonna, I don't know what he wants to do, but I've got plans for him, which are to fix up with my light. For, here, let me show you guys something first. Actually, before I show you guys something, one second. Noah, Noah! What do you know? I know. Dragons. What about dragons? That some have four legs, some have two legs, some even have one leg. Dragons with one leg? Yeah, some do. One leg and two feet. And the ones with one leg and two feet all have um, a tail that's kind of like a foot that is really long and it's hard so it helps them stand up and balance. Some even have three legs and some have four wings, some have two wings, some have one giant wing, some have eight wings, it will, some have all the wings. There's a bunch of types of dragons, lightning dragons, fire dragons, water dragons, nature dragons. There's even wood dragons. Water dragons, some have flipper-like wings, and some have all of those, and some have legs and all of them. And a little noisy back there. Sorry, I'm trying to make a smoothie. Your giant ice cubes were blocking my frozen fruit. Nature dragons can camouflage into trees, bushes, and anything that has to do with nature. And they can fly real high. Some of them can shoot rocks out of their wings. And their wings can also shoot a burst of wind made out of leaves that can blow any object lighter than 5,000 pounds. Usually fire dragons live in volcanoes. They can create crystals that are so hot they can melt bone. A lot of them have glowing eyes with blue dots in the middle. Some lightning dragons can shoot lightning out of their entire body, including the tip of their tail. And Good God, I didn't know that we had so much dragon information in this kid's head, but I want to know, when did you turn into Post Malone? What? <laughs> What's Post Malone? Wait, who's Post Malone? And that's all I know. What do you know? I know. Sea dragons. What about sea dragons? That they live near the, that they live in the water and there's one that's very big that's bigger than a ship and younger than a ship and it can make big waves and it has a like crystals coming on the top of its head and it these stick with some circle that are blobbies around it. It makes spikes, but some it'll make spiny. And they also, actually that's all I know. And fish eggs. <laughs> I hope that was enough energy to get you guys' day started. It was definitely enough for mine. Actually, truthfully, I started my day like four hours ago. But, oh no, it's too bright out here. Uh, I want to show you guys, I want to show you guys this. I'm working on this thing. I'm almost done with it. I just got to give it one coat of sanding and one more layer of uh, whatever that other stuff's called. I'm building this table because Garrett is going to be out here in about a week and a half or so. And I'm going to, well, we're going to podcast, of course. I want to have a nice table, make him feel at home, some natural wood instead of all whatever I've got going on in there. And yeah, building a table, man. Trying to be productive. Gecko life! Plan for when Shane gets here is I'm going to have him double fist a bunch of species I have, like the, the indigos, the scrub pythons, probably the corn snakes, anything I have two of. I'm going to have him double fist for cinematic snake Saturday. And before Shane gets here, Hillary had something she really wanted to talk to you guys about, so I'm just going to, I'm just going to give her the camera. 
We're doing our family Zoom bingo right now. The theme is under the sea. These guys. Right. I'll get to them. <laughs> oh, where do you think you're going, Missy? Yes, oh. bingo is over, but you are on the spot. Tell the people what you want to say. <laughs> That's it? There's like, a bunch actually, of laughter, huh? Okay, I, all right, all right, she's no, done. No, I just actually really have to pee. That's okay, where I was well, going. well, it's good. It's an ur urgent. Oh, okay. Um, so. I released my children's bedtime stories podcast. Um, you can find it on iTunes, Stitcher, TuneIn, and SoundCloud. <laughs> they are um, nature-based short stories that have been adapted from stories from long, long ago, all over the world, different cultures, and some original stories as well. Um, <laughs> Um, this is something I've been working on for a while. I'll kind of put it on the back burner with stuff going on last year. But there are six episodes out, I believe, and I will be releasing another one next week. Uh, you can also... <laughs> why do I do that? I don't know why I'm doing that. Um, you can also join our community at Patreon if you're interested. <laughs> and I just really hope that this can give your children something nice to listen to while you're whatever doing whatever if you need some quiet time um i'd say ages you know two to ten is probably what it's most appropriate for um and you know yeah i just hope you guys really like it please let me know what you think and i hope it brings some uh quiet time to your house <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna start sanding it, but it doesn't feel ready to sand it, even though it's been enough time. I think maybe it's too cold outside, but anyway, Shane should be here any minute. All right, now that we got all that set up, we can talk like we're having a regular conversation and we're not filming. All right, all right. <laughs> uh, so what do you what do you think you're gonna what do you want to film while you're here? Uh, well, you know, of course your collection or something, but I want to do something a little different, you know, because like your collection's pretty well documented on your channel. I like different. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know. I, I was kind of looking for you for ideas. All right. Well, I'll tell you what I had planned. I was gonna have you double fist all the snakes that I have two of. Every uh -huh. species that I've got two of will go up front, and you can just double fist them, and I'll get some nice cinematic. It's what I call uh, cinematic snake Saturday. Okay. But I feel like we get to really go balls to the wall it's like a alliterative wet dream yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> cinematic snake saturday with shane from small town exotics yeah 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> i like that i like that so you really don't know what you what you want to film no ah uh, well. <laughs> <Fair enough. laughs> that works for me i mean to be fair I'm, i am totally open and, and game you know like i said uh your collection's pretty well documented but i'd like to look around some though and get some on my channel and just uh pick your brain a little bit man
I was waiting for the light to be exactly right, i.e. just like it is right now for us to shoot that snakes segment, but uh, you know, it is what it is. I think we're gonna go get some food and uh, I gotta give a big shout out to Shane here for, for helping me film that segment right there. Shane, you did a fantastic job. Thank he, you. He did way better than I actually thought he was gonna, not that I didn't think he was gonna do good, but I thought the snakes were gonna be less well behaved. You know, double fisting scrub pythons is not, really conducive to uh, handling snakes elegantly. You know, double fisting scrub python. I don't know if it, how many of you guys out there, leave a comment down below. Let me know what type of snakes you guys have ever double fisted. Get creative with your answer. <laughs> <laughs> you guys ever see that show, uh, Silicon Valley? <laughs> There's gonna be a link down in the description for Shane's channel. We just shouted out Shane recently because he got Jimmy to bring me a, a shirt hand delivered, but now you actually get to see Shane and Shane will get to show you what he saw here some behind the scenes footage, check out his channel, you'll get to see what he shot in the room. And then we're not even done shooting yet necessarily. I'm just, I just, I'm done. I, don't, I have nothing to complain about today, so I'm not gonna get in the complaining corner. I'm not gonna make something up to complain about. I literally have, have been thinking for the last few hours, I've got nothing to complain about. So I- I don't have anything to complain about either. I think there's nothing to complain about. You can't just force these things, right? So- Oh, I got something to complain about. Not being able to sit down to eat at the Thai food restaurant place. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but if we go to McDonald's, we'll be good to go in and sit down, but we're getting Thai food instead, so it is what it is. I hope you guys have yourselves a great day. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and uh... Where are you going? <laughs> no, don't leave me! Don't leave me! You're leaving me, T. I need you. I need... What's One sec. Well, I thought that it was going to be some kind of offense to not have Leia on the video, but apparently she really doesn't want to be on the video today, so... You can't make her do stuff. I mean, I could. I could make her do stuff. I'm not going to. <laughs> now that Shane's gone, I just wanted to say what I really thought about him, which is... <laughs> actually, he's a really cool guy. You know, has some people, you, you're hanging out with them, or you have them over your place, and you... You feel like you really need to like entertain them or they're, they're high, like high maintenance. I don't know exactly how to explain it, but that's a feeling I get from some people. Don't get that with Shane. Super chill, super easy to hang with. Shane, thank you for coming and hanging with us, man, and uh, holding those snakes. That was, I'm super stoked on looking at that footage. I bet it came out great. Uh, yeah, all right guys, that was it. Just want to drop that last quick note. Bye, see you later.